Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victoria 2 with the Concert of Europe mod as the Spanish Empire. Okay, so it's the year 1823. It's May 13th, 1823, and we are fighting the Wars of Independence. We are starting to very, very, very much fully occupy Gran Colombia, um, and I think we will be successful. We probably do need a 100 war score to... Uh, to get this, and right now we're just not anywhere near that because Grand Columbia is fucking enormous. So I think what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna occupy most of Grand Columbia, or at least what I can. I'm, I definitely want to go for the capital, and then I think I will move some troops here into Ecuador because I do believe that the Argentinians and the Chileans are gonna move over troops into Ecuador very very soon. If they pa if they push past Ecuador, we're gonna have some serious issues. So I think we move up against them. I'm also bringing uh, I'm bringing over conscripts from the old world. And I have a few transports actually out here that I can still I can still use. We've mobilized almost completely, so this is basically all the manpower that we're going to have for the next few years to fight this independence war. We're going after this um, this military technology. Um, our economy is in shambles. We're going to be going into some serious debt here pretty soon, which kind of worries me because I don't really want to declare bankruptcy. Um, I'm not entirely sure there's anything we could do to kind of to kind of uh, remedy that though. Let's go for Army Command Principle real quick. This will help us out with morale. Supply consumption will go up, but military hospitals, military tactics will um, go up as well. Alrighty. Um, son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? Fuck, man. The Mexican Empire declared war on me for Cuba. Mexican conquest of Cuba. You bastards. So historically, the Empire of Mexico had designs to take Cuba, and they usually were not successful. They they weren't successful in it, but um, the Mexican Empire gets the decision of whether or not to to make such a decision to go to war, and it looks like they actually did take the decision to go to war. That is uh, that is unfortunate. So now we're fighting the Mexicans. Um, he did also just annex the uh, United States of Central America, the uh, Federal Republic of Central America. He just annexed that. How how many troops does he have? Eight regiments. Okay. I think we we probably should be able to beat him, um, but let's just focus on the south for now. Let's just focus here in Colombia. I don't really care too much about the Mexicans right now. Let's get these occupied real quick. Paraguay, you do want alliance? Would you join this war? He'll accept the war against Peru. Oh wow, he actually accepted the war for all three. All right, whatever. Maybe he can unoccupy some of this. I just I need some pressure on these fuckers. Uh, where is my fleet? Let's see, we have six Man of Wars, seven light ships. I'm gonna go and detach. Let's detach my transports. The transports will be fine on their own. I can come over here and transfer the conscripts over. And we're gonna grab the main fleet. And this main fleet, I think, will probably just blockade, um, either the Yucatan Sea or Tampico Bay. The Yucatan Sea, his Veracruz, and a couple other places over here. I don't think the Mexicans have really have a strong navy. Uh, I could be wrong, though. Hmm. Our navy's a little wounded just because we, we have trouble funding our supplies. Hmm. Can I save any money anywhere? That's the real question. I mean, we're taxing literally our population and our and our tariffs everywhere. We just we don't have the administrative efficiency that we need to to really make money. I don't know. Hmm. So we're going to leave this 19,000 in the north to siege, uh, to siege stuff down. And I'm going to move this this 28,000 men here to uh, to siege stuff, or to, to defend the, the south. I'm going to push into Quito. And I'm going to bring over more conscripts to help out with this occupation, and then we'll push south, because these guys are going to be into Ecuador pretty soon. Um, and there's not really much I can do about that. So... We'll stick towards the coast if we can. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think the Mexican army uh, or the Mexican navy was very strong. Uh, oh, it actually looks like the, the United the United States uh, of Central America declared independence from Mexico, so he's gonna be busy with that. Okay, so he's gonna be busy with that.
Yeah, let's stick towards the coast. Quito is the capital of Ecuador, so let's just try to hold on to that. Um, let's do what we can. We've already... Uh, where's my transports? Are they here? Yes, they just arrived. So my transports just arrived. So I've got regulars, and that's it. And then I have the conscripts. Uh, this is a general. Interesting. This is actually a very good general. Who is this guy? I will appoint my general in charge of this army. Melkor Diaz, or Daas, I guess. I don't know. There's some sort of... Some sort of bug. Um... Let's go ahead and teleport him over here. So I think the Mexican army is going to be preoccupied with um, the civil wars over here. Chiapas is independent, and then the USCA declared independence. So he's going to be he's going to be kind of busy. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Argentinians are moving towards Cajamarca. They've basically taken most of the significant territory. They have a 45% war score here. Jesus. Hmm. It actually appears right now that Chileans are moving south. Which is interesting. Why are they moving south? I might actually be able to engage that army there. The Ejercito de Buenos Aires. I might be able to engage them because they're by themselves. We're about to be going to some serious, serious debt. Where the hell is the Spanish or Mexican Navy? Seriously. I don't know. I don't even know where they are. Um, because the Chileans aren't here, I'm actually willing to engage that Argentinian force. What's the terrain? Terrace farmland. And then we have a really good general. Morale, 15.2%. Organization, 13.9%. Reconnaissance, speed, and experience. And we have artillery and mostly infantry. We don't have any cavalry. It's gonna come down to rolls. Ooh, he got a dig in and we got a river crossing. We have a seven to a, a two. God damn. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Decisive defeat on our part. We just rolled a zero, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a horrible defeat. Oh my god. We lost 14,000 to kill two. Holy shit. That was a fucking god-awful battle. I did not expect that. Okay. Well, that just changed the military situation significantly. That was regulars and artillery. That was a decisive defeat. Goddamn. Okay, so now we have to play strictly defensive on the Peruvian front. I can't, it can't be uh, offensive. Let's finish up this occupation in Colombia, though. The Colombian War of Independence will decisively fail. Yeah. We're now going to begin going into debt. Let's try and see if I can improve relations with the British. Um, that's the Grand Colombian Navy. Okay, um, let's wait until his navy passes. We bring over more conscripts, I think. As many men as I can muster. Oh, these are all conscripts. Most of these men we cannot replenish. Uh, looks like the Empire of Brazil wants to be independent. The United States has backed the cause of Brazil. France, the Russian Empire, Austria, and the Netherlands, and Prussia still have to decide. Okay. So 
So this army is strong enough to defend, just not to attack. Um. Well, I guess I could probably come here. If he goes to Priyuda, Priyuda is uh, semi-desert hills. Attrition 1.4, farming efficiency, farm size. Combat width is reduced by 20% this, in this, and then the defense 0 0.2. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so the Colombians are going to lose their War of Independence for sure. We would, we absolutely can probably occupy them. Um, it's actually, it's going pretty quickly. It's, it's going better than I imagined it would. Let's go and occupy, I think, this. I just don't want to take too much attrition, Jesus. Let's take towards the coast because we do need the supply limit. We've replenished most of this regular force. We're now taking debt. Uh, the Bank of the United Kingdom is actually giving me debt. Okay. Okay. God, dude, the supply limit sucks. I'm losing just so much money. I'm trying to think, what are we spending on naval units? No, mil military units is what's most expensive. Yeah. By far. So you have 26,000 to this guy's 18,000. I wish I had fucking cavalry in this force. I do have a Hussar up here, but he's helping out with siege efficiency. So I'm not actually entirely certain of his ability to uh, to help out in combat. You know? Um, some of these ships are actually going to die. They do not have... Because we have to cross the ocean. I have to let them replenish for a while. Yeah, let's let them repair for a bit in port. God damn it, I knew it. I don't really want him to take this territory. Jungle Mountains, defense 0 0.6. Combat width is reduced by 80%. Fuck, I can't attack him. I can't attack him here. Um, I don't really want to risk it either. I don't know if I can coax him to attack me in Piura. It's hard to say. Hmm. We've been at war for three years now. The Chileans, uh, wow, Paraguay actually very, has a very large navy, or a very large army. The Chileans um, have unoccupied a little bit of this, but they're going to occupy the rest of Paraguay here in a minute. The Paraguayans actually have a larger army than Chile does. Okay. Mexican conquest of Cuba is still failing. I don't know where their navy is, and I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. This navy is almost fully repaired. Um, I'm actually going to bring over the conscripts now. 27,000 men. We're transferring over. Let's see, what do I need them? I probably will put them, put them down here maybe, but let's see. Let's take as much of the coast as I can. Here's Caracas. Caracas is pretty interest, er, is pretty important as far as uh, Grand Colombia is concerned. Our war exhaustion's at 0%. The Grand Colombians of 66%. Where are you going, you bastards? Zamora. Fuck. That is uh, Seasonal Jungle Mountains. Uh, 
God damn it, you bastard. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Seriously. Yes, go to Beyuda. I'll fight him there. Go to Piura. Go. I think he just took a military type. Hmm. Paraguay is occupying northern Argentina, so they're they're kind of relieving the pressure off my back. Which is actually pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's actually really convenient to have them around. It wasn't a bad idea, actually, making an alliance with them. All right, let's engage this guy. Let's see how we do. Uh, 26,000 infantry, 3,000 cavalry, or 3,000 artillery. This guy's no artillery. He's got plenty of infantry in, uh, in cavalry, though. Now, this is pretty decent terrain for a battle. I think I get a river crossing, though. We still get a fucking Duggan penalty, man. Jesus. We rolled a zero on the first phase, too. That is just god awful. Oh my god, the amount of men we lose. I can't watch. It's too painful. Oh my fuck. Oh my god. Oh god damn it. Yeah, Bolivia and Peru are gonna be gone. We have to release them. I have no choice. You bastards. Alright, fine. Bolivia's independent, Peru's independent. We'll conquer them some other time. <laughs> I will kill those fuckers some other time. We'll reconquer that, but I have I have Spanish Ecuador, Panama, and uh, Colombia will be mine. So far, we can secure that territory. Um, I can't do anything to Mexico, obviously, but oh, you bastards! I think at this point, maybe I don't know if we need to mobilize just yet. Possibly. Well, at least we have Colombia so far. I mean, there there will be time to retake, you know, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Chile, and Paraguay. There will be time. You just got you gonna have to, you know, you have to make the choices that are necessary. You know, you gotta make those choices. Jesus Christ. Look at the supply limit in some of these interior areas. It is just awful. Wow. Fuck that. I'm going to go for uh, Panama, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for Panama. That supply limit is just terrible. I'm just going to let I'm going to let the ticking war score do its job. As soon as we get 100% occupation with that guy, we're good. Okay, so we just got uh, Army Command Principle. Let's go for Introspectionism. Because I do want that reinforcement and uh, education efficiency. Seventy-six percent war score against the Colombians. We need eighty-five war score. Need 85 war score for the occupation, but since it's a full annexation, we'll probably, we probably need 100%, to be honest. Uh, but the ticking war score is doing its job. Almost there. So it's not too bad. It's not as, uh, you know, it's, I think this campaign is going to be fun. You know, definitely. It's, uh, it's going the way that it needs to. Columbia, come on, surrender, dude. Give up. The game's over. The gig, the gig is over, son. The gig is over. This is a pretty, this is a pretty potent base with which to conquer most of uh, South America. Bolivia is allied to Argentina, Chile, and Paraguay, but they won't be able to resist me.
We'll definitely have to deal with the United States at some point or another. It'd be pretty interesting actually to retake Florida. I wonder if that'd be possible. Um, I could probably strike at the USCA as well. We could probably start to reconquer them if I wanted to. Yeah, it's actually probably not a bad idea to do that. Um, I would push up probably in the south. I'd probably take Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras first. Wait, where's this capital? In Guatemala, yeah. So, but right now we just need to annex Colombia. We have uh, eighty-two thousand dead. 55 ducats of interest. If your interest is larger than your income, you declare bankruptcy. So that can't happen. You've got to be shitting me. This guy's still not willing. God, why is he not willing to peace out? Come on, son. Come on, son. Surrender. We'll keep most of our army in the, uh, in the old world. Or the new world. I mean, not the old world. The new world. Dominican Nationalists, Jacobin Rebels. Yeah, we're doing alright. It's fine. Could be worse. Come on, Columbia. Seriously, man. How is this guy still resisting? We have a truce with Peru until 1830. Oh no. Did we have a truce with Peru? Huh. He would actually accept an alliance. I don't really like Bolivia either. But I'd rather own this territory, probably. We have another election. Are there any conscripts or these regulars? No, these are all conscripts, dude. These are actually, these guys in the south are regulars. We still have the truce with France. When is that up? Or when is our... Um, no, our war indemnity with France is going to be over pretty soon. One faith and one faith only. Okay, yeah, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Immobilize, please. Look at that shit, that is awesome. All right, we've got the main garrison in Ecuador. We have a few regulars up here. Damn, dude, that's beautiful. Do we have any arrest? You're damn right we do. <laughs> all right, we have 10 in rest all over the Colombian continent. <laughs> Jacobin rebels. Not big surprise. Capital. We are a sprawling empire. We have 4.86 million adult males in our empire. Okay, so we've seized uh, Colombia once again. Let us decrease the army maintenance and naval maintenance. Um, local education sucks in most of our realm, which is unfortunate. And we'll go for interventionism so we can... Uh, I don't think promoting reactionaries isn't necessarily the best. Um, holy shit, we need to get this economy under control. Spending a lot of money. It's a lot of money. If I don't reduce spending somewhere. Hmm.
Yeah, if our if our interest is greater than our income, we're gonna declare bankruptcy, which is very likely to happen. I might actually have to get rid of some of these regulars. Which would be unfortunate, but I don't know. What's the most expensive that I, troops that I have? Hmm. Artillery and ammunition are, are what's cost me the most. Artillery? I barely have any artillery at all. Okay, so maybe we get rid of the artillery for now. Because they are expensive. And I have no troops in the old world at all. No troops whatsoever. We will need an alliance with the United Kingdom, probably. When the hell does this war indemnity thing go away? Shit. Sometime. We have a tuberculosis outbreak? Shit, that sucks. Okay, how does the United States feel about me? He's neutral. We have Jacobin Rebels, which is not good. We have Social Tensions. Okay, so yeah, this is getting pretty bad. We have 118,000 uh, pounds of debt. It's pretty bad. It's pretty dangerous. can't really do anything to Mexico, can I? I don't think so. Holy shit, our income like plummeted after that. <laughs> I thought going to peace would be better for us. It's actually not. <laughs> All right, whatever you say. When the hell does this truce end, bro? Seriously. 1827? What, what month? March. Are you telling me my war indemnities is done in March? It better be. Our artisans and our clergymen are getting none of their needs. Which is pretty bad. But I can't I can't even afford to pay them anyway. You know? We're losing so much fucking money, dude. Okay, finally the damn war indemnities is gone. Holy shit. Let's go for freedom of trade, I guess. Stock exchange would help us out with administrative efficiency as well. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. We're still not making any profit. Fuck. I have taxes at 100, almost. And then I have tariffs at 100%. Uh. I don't really want to cut corners in the military, though, because we need troops. Fuck it, though, man. Desperate times, desert measures, I guess. We're just not making any fucking money. I can't cut money on the bureaucracy because that's fucking counterintuitive, man. Holy crap, Clipper Convoys are expensive. Wow.
Olivia wants an alliance. Uh, that is an alliance, which I will probably refuse. I don't really want to ally those guys. Uh, apparently these are all states. That's pretty cool. These are all states. These are not colonies. Huh. So there's a lot of people here that I can tax. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this is real bad. We're going to clear bankruptcy pretty soon. I mean, honestly, I can't cut any more corners besides just straight up disbanding troops. And I need troops. I need troops for, for warfare. So, I don't really know what they want me to do. Um, we'll have to consider our options. So, I'm going to go and take break here, guys. I will see you uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.